readers, this is The Hotel for Bugs by Susie Signor, illustrated by Lierre Martin. A buzz of excitement hung over the square. The band played their trumpets, balloons filled the air. The manager threw the grand doors open wide. I'm pleased to announce we are open, she cried. The crowd started clapping, and then with an ooh, they peeked through the entrance to get the first view of huge bouncy sofas and soft mossy rugs in the brand new and fabulous Hotel for Bugs. They swarmed up the steps and they poured in the door. They flocked to the light bulbs and nibbled the floor. They buzzed through the buffet, and then, with an ah, they spotted the pool and the fancy new spa. They checked out the Larva Club, open all day, with tons of fun games for the young ones to play. The bugs were excited, now time to relax. But then something made them all stop in their tracks. Someone slid in through the new hotel lobby. Somebody squishy and shiny and blobby. A thin trail of slime glittered bright in the gloom. Hello, said the slug. May I please book a room? The manager twitched her antenna in fright. I'm sorry, she said, but we're full for the night. Besides, I'm afraid this hotel is for bugs. Our guests won't expect to be sharing with slugs. The slug looked bewildered. He said, are you sure? That's really unfair. Then he slid out the door. He looks very sad because he's not included in the hotel. Oh, phew, said the manager, wiping her brow. Don't worry, he's gone. Things are fine again now. The insects all stared and they nodded, unsure. They looked at the pathway of slime out the door. Then suddenly one of the tiny young bugs stepped up and demanded, Hey, what's wrong with slugs? So maybe they're slimy and they don't have wings or legs, or antennae, or, well, lots of things. But honestly, take a good look at us bugs. We're all pretty odd. We're much weirder than slugs. And here's some examples of bugs. Like me, she suggested, with ears on my knees. Look, horseflies a vampire, and so are the fleas. And dung beetle rolls balls of poop around too. Then Woodlouse admitted, my blood is pale blue. And Spider said, I can make silk from my tummy. Then afterwards, sometimes I eat the stuff, yummy. Then Butterfly added, I taste with my feet. I stomp on the flowers to see if they're sweet. The stink bug just grinned and said nothing at all, because <laughs> he's stinky. And soon a foul smell filled the air in the hall. Whoa, looks like stink bug released some stink. You see, coughed the bug, being different is cool. The manager nodded. She felt like a fool. Look at all the different bugs. They're all very different. I think, said a fly, we should all go away. It doesn't seem right that we bugs get to stay. A few grabbed their luggage, all ready to go. The manager sighed, shook her head, and said, No! If anyone needs to get moving, it's me. I've been so unkind, and I just didn't see. I hope I can fix it. Please, just take a seat. She flew out the door and shot off down the street. Then, five minutes later, the creatures all cheered, as Slug and the manager both reappeared. I truly am sorry, the manager said. I'll find you a room with a four-poster bed. 
or maybe a suite with a beautiful view. A really large bathtub and a balcony, too. That sounds very nice, said the slug with a grin. And then he went off to get all settled in. That evening, the slug and the bugs couldn't wait to all get together and party till late. They sang karaoke and danced in the hall of the brand new and fabulous Hotel for All. Let's see, they changed the name instead of Hotel for Bugs. It says Hotel for All. So everyone is welcome in the new hotel. That was the Hotel for Bugs. And don't forget to subscribe for more good reads for kids.